Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sophia and this is my YouTube channel. I am finally filming another video. I am so sorry it has taken me this long to film another one like I genuinely am. I've just been so busy with school and work and that sort of thing and I haven't been able to prioritize YouTube but I really, really, really want to start doing it more so I'm bringing my camera with me next week when I'm in London so expect to see a shit ton more videos. I can promise you that. But in this video I'm just going to be answering a bunch of your questions. I don't remember the last time I did a Q&A so I figured it was definitely time to do that. You guys asked me a bunch of questions on Instagram so I'm just going to read through the ones that I really want to answer and yeah hopefully this video will not be that long uh, but hopefully it'll still be substantial to compensate for how long it's been since I have uploaded anything. Um, before I get into the video I'm getting used to saying this. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, share with your friends, tell me what you want to see next, click that little notification bell so you don't miss out on anything that I upload in the future. Check out my other videos Videos. If you are new and you've never seen me before, hello, I have a unibrow, my name is Sophia, and hashtag unibrow movement. <laughs> I'm also working with natural light right now, so it will for sure go in and out like it is right now, so just please bear with me. I know it won't really bother that many people, but I figured I would say it anyway. So yeah, let's just get right on into it. Okay, so if I'm looking down, it, I'm just reading the questions from my phone, by the way. This case is from Wild Flower Cases. I love the girls that run it and I think they're super creative, so definitely go check them out. They're really cool. But yeah, so I'm just going to answer a few questions. I'm not going to be super repetitive because I guess I'll do like a, a few other Q&As in the future. If your question wasn't answered in this specific video, I can assure you it will be eventually answered. Okay, so the first question actually comes from one of my best friends, Sarah from New York. Go check her out. She says, what did you major in? And then she asked a bunch of other questions, but I'm gonna answer this one. I majored in business marketing. So I just graduated yesterday, actually, so exciting, from the Robert H. Smith School of Business from the University of Maryland in marketing. I decided to study marketing way before anyone even knew who I was, and I just didn't want to stop just because things were taking off in my career. So I graduated finally, and I'm really excited. Definitely don't underestimate the power of studying business or social media marketing as a marketer. Just for me, it has helped a lot because now I know what to expect from the companies or brands that I work with, that makes sense. So I can just be a few steps ahead of them. What is my favorite Greek food and island from Mermaid Talia, another queen. Um, I'm not the biggest Greek food fan, to be fair. Like, my mom always cooks it, or like my dad always does as well. I can't stand the Nikis Mada, the desserts. I don't consider necessarily Cyprus as a Greek island because it is its own country, but I have to be biased here and say Cyprus is my favorite technically Greek island. But I also like uh, Zakithos and Mykonos obviously, but it's kind of touristy now. Are your eyebrows black or are they tinted? My eyebrows are naturally really dark brown. Actually, you could probably... So the hair that's like on the bottom of my hair, that makes sense? That's my natural eyebrow color. They are naturally a lot darker than my hair color, but I tint them black. I even tinted them black before I actually had a full-on unibrow because I think another question here is if I've ever plucked my eyebrows, and I for sure have. I love changing my look. Like I've never hated my eyebrows plucked, and I've never hated my eyebrows the way they are now. I love them both ways, so I love to change up my look. I used to always tint them. I still do. I love doing that. I'll Actually, I'll include the brand that I use right here. So you guys can go and check it out. I usually buy it on Amazon because it's the cheapest. What would you have, this was, so this was asked a while ago, but what would you have worn to the Met Gala? Wasn't the theme this year something about bodies? Well, I don't remember, something about bodies. Some majestic bodies, I don't know. I probably would have worn, oh, one of the McQueen, like thick, so almost shower curtain plastic dresses that are transparent. I remember what season it was, but I'm gonna insert a picture here. I would have worn one of those, 100%, with nothing underneath. Think of the statues and try to embody the statues. Obviously, I would have worn McQueen because my icon, literally. What is your opinion about body standards and what made you fierce enough to go all natural when it comes to your brows? When it comes to body standards, like I said, I don't think one thing is beautiful and I don't think another thing is either. Because if I sit here and tell you, I think this is beautiful, there could be someone watching this right now that says, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. I need to zero in on that and potentially disregard other incredibly gorgeous things around me. So I never like to say what I think is beautiful just because 
I don't want it to make you guys biased in any way, but I definitely think that there are some body standards and certain things going on, celebrities are portraying themselves, that I think is just bullshit, to be fair. It is not okay for a young girl at home looking at a really famous celebrity online, who is famous now for their body, to feel like insecure with how they are naturally created because there is so much artificial things going on. Like I heard that there was a really famous model going around actually right now, I heard this recently, had her ribs, two of her ribs removed to make her waist smaller. And you would have never known that. I would have never known that. On my photo shoots in New York a few weeks ago, I kept asking everyone. I was like, is that true? They're like, oh, for sure. I had no idea. But it just definitely puts things into perspective. That's why I think like, Instagram, social media, it's a beautiful thing, but it's also something that you have to take at face value and realize that it's not all real. Everything I post isn't even real. I posted a picture the other day an hour after I was crying. So definitely don't believe everything you see. But I definitely think that beauty and the beauty industry must be far more inclusive. I don't think it should exclude what's going on right now. If someone likes that, they like that. That's beautiful in itself. The fact that they like it so much that they're excluding everything else is where I'm hoping to embrace these people and show them the way. Do you love pizza? Obviously, I love pizza. But I like thin crust pizza, by the way. Thick crust pizza is a little much for me. What's my favorite hobby? I like editing pictures. I love editing pictures. Oh gosh, sometimes I'll just take a picture of Pierre, my dog. I'll edit it for like two hours and make it this beautiful black and white masterpiece. I love doing that. And I also love drawing. I'm the, more of a drawer than a painter, but yeah, I love that. It's one of my biggest hobbies growing up. And hopefully now that I've graduated, I'll have more time to do that. What's my skincare routine? Do you know what I think about it? Before, I didn't really have a skincare routine, but I think I've more developed one now and I have a lot more products. So instead of me telling you it all right now, Comment below if you want that or like the video or something so I know that you want that. Who makes the skull rings you wear? I get these questions a lot. So I haven't worn as many skull rings as I normally do recently. I have this one and then I have this one. There's a really good silversmith in London that makes them for me. And I think he has an Etsy shop. I'm going to put it below. I'm going to reveal my secret and I'm going to put it below for you guys. And I hope I see you guys rocking these because they're incredible. This is my favorite one with the headphones. If you could be anywhere right now, where would that be? I would be in London. Although I'm leaving next week, I would be in London. I just really want to go. I want to go and see my grandma and that's probably the... And there's another question here actually from one of my friends that says what I'm most excited about for my trip going to Europe this summer and it's for sure seeing my family, my yaya, my friends. There's also a bunch of questions here about what I'm doing after university. So I've graduated. I'm out in the big world right now. Unlike a lot of business majors that I just graduated with, I'm not working at a big four consulting firm or a bank or anything like that. Definitely taking a leap of faith and I'm just investing it in myself as a person and hoping for the best. I'm gonna probably pursue modeling a bit more, but I'm going to be making more YouTube videos. I don't think this is exactly what I'm doing full time, but yeah, I'm also, when I get back from London, cause not right now, I'm gonna be selling like three fourths of my wardrobe. I'm feeling super overwhelmed by everything that's in there and I know when I get back, I'm not gonna want anything that's left in there. So follow my Depop. I like, trust me. Like I sold a pair of Fendi pants that are like being sold for like $600 elsewhere for like $200 the other day. And I was like, you know what? Like that's kind of expensive, but that was so reasonable. And I wish more people saw that. But yeah, so check it out by the way. Um, if you have any questions as well, like side note, like I always respond to my Depop messages, like always. Um, but yeah, so that's hopefully what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm staying at home with my parents in Maryland just because unlike a lot of people, like I could move to New York and I could move to London right after school, but I don't like New York. Like I love working there, but I only like being there for work. I don't know, like I have a lot of friends there, but I just feel kind of anxious when I'm there. So I like being home with my Pierre and everything. Eventually like I'll be going there, but not right now. So yeah. Another question. I'm going to end it on this one. Um, what's one decision you're really proud of? If you didn't know, like, I graduated high school and I got into every university that I applied to. And the one university I really wanted to go to was Parsons. And I got in, I even got a scholarship. And I didn't go. I didn't go because it was financially just, like, not realistic. And I think like, a lot of people could relate to that. Art school in New York is stupidly expensive. Like, stupid expensive. And so I stayed and I went to a community college for two years. And I really figured...
Okay guys, I don't know exactly where it cut out, but I'm just gonna stop the video right here just because I might have been rambling anyway. Uh, yeah, so definitely comment below and let me know what video you wanna see next because I have time now and I have a camera and I would love to be making what you guys wanna see. Make sure you follow me on all of my social media so that you can see what I'm doing even when I'm not posting on here. Like I said before, make sure you've subscribed and you've clicked the notification bell just to be here when I do upload. Um, connect with me on all my social medias. I love speaking to people. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll speak to you guys soon. Have a good day. This is my recital. I think it's very vital. To rock around. That's right. On top. Here we go.